Hello muskies. The learning target for this video is I can calculate potential and kinetic energy. Before we go any further, I want to review with you real quickly that when we're talking about potential energy, we're talking about stored energy. And in the case of our bowling ball, it's going to be gravitational potential energy, which is the energy that comes from how high the object is. And then we also have kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is our energy of motion. Anything that's moving has kinetic energy. The formula we're going to use to find kinetic energy is K equals one half M times V squared. And that means kinetic energy equals one half times the mass of the object, then times the velocity squared. And so we can see on this slide, we've got our formula. And then we have an example down here. So if we have a 70 kilogram boy running about 10 meters per second, we can find his kinetic energy by using our formula. And so we would take 1 half times 70, which is the boy's mass, times 10 squared, which is the velocity squared. And when we get that answer, we get 3,500 joules, which is our label for energy, and it's spelled out this way. The formula that we're going to use to find our potential energy is going to be P equals M times G times H, where P is our potential energy, M is the mass of the object, G is the acceleration due to gravity, and H is the height of the object. This slide here can also be helpful just for information. It's got it all in one place. Uh, we've got our formula right here, and then we've got our acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. That just means it's how fast gravity pulls an object when it's falling towards the earth. And then we have also have our label for GPE, which is going to be joules. And here's an example for you that will help. Uh, we're going to find the GPE here. We've got our formula. Our mass in this case is going to be 1. Our acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And our height is 5. So when we multiply these numbers together, our answer is going to be 49. But then we can't forget to put in our label, which is going to be a J here, which stands for joules. Watching this should help you get ready to find both the kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy of your bowling ball. Good luck to you, and remember, it's a great day to be a muskie.